Hi, everyone. Uh, I hope that uh, that the live is working uh, now. Um, today we are online with the very last session of uh, the world's biggest to-do list. Uh, and of course, we're going to end by talking about this one, Global Goal Number 17, Partnerships for the Goals. My name is Clara, and uh, we are live here from, uh, from Copenhagen, Denmark, in the Clubhouse. And the focus of today is this one, as I said, Global Goal Number 17, Partnership for the Goals. And this goal is about revitalizing re the global partnership for sustainable development and strengthen measures to reach Global goals. Uh, to some, uh, to some people, this could be or it could sound a little uh, abstract because what does uh, what does partnerships uh, mean? Yeah, in real life, practically. But but what it means is, is and what the aim of this goal goal number seventeen is that it's about a broad political, technological, economic cooperation across borders with both government companies, organizations, and people like you and me uh, take the global goals uh, seriously uh, and work together to reach them. And on the other hand, it's also about the fact that, that we have to pay for the investments uh, that, that needs to be done if we should, uh, should reach this goal. And, uh, and how, uh, how do we do this? Well, as I said, I think, uh, to reach this goal, all of us uh, have to do something. Uh, the more wealthy part of the world have to uh, to keep the promise of giving a 0.7 percentage of gross national income every year to uh, support the development or uh, the world's poorest countries. And the developing or countries or the more poor countries um, should uh, be better to uh, to work on the. Uh, creating and economically economically financing their own development by, uh, for instance, uh, be in, uh, gathering taxes and and use the use the money gathered uh, as investments in roads and schools and health clinics and other things that strengthen economic development and help um, to to flatten the poverty group to make sure that uh, that more and more people are making their way out of the uh, out of poverty and uh, a, a way to do that and a, or a part of the solution is the fact that that the export of the uh, developing countries should double uh, actually in this year and uh, one of the ways to do this is to give uh, the least developed countries access to the global export market without uh, letting them pay taxes uh, without having them to pay for quotas. And then there's another part of this uh, global goal number 17, and it's about um, the fact that all of us have to be better to cooperate about technology and research across borders. Uh, we have to develop sustainable technologies so uh, we can build in an industrial sector that is sustainable uh, and the, I think one of the goals of this goal is also that, that the developing countries should not uh, repeat the mistakes that, that a lot of the more rich countries have done, uh, where, where an industrialization have, have meant that we have uh, huge problems with, for instance, pollutions. So, so that's a part of it as well that we need to develop technologies for all countries that, uh, that can make our uh, industry more uh, sustainable. And then, um, then the last part of this goal is also that that we have to be better to measure how the development is going in uh, each single country, and not just when it's about uh, economical growth. It's also about collecting uh, data of a better quality, so we can see if uh, if the things that we're doing is actually uh, moving the world forward. If if it's getting kids to school, if it's um, decreasing poverty. If it's uh, meaning that we protect our nature in better ways, then global goal number seventeen has a lot, a lot, a lot of targets. And uh, as I always do, I will try to explain all of them. But it might be um, a little long. Uh, but I hope you can stay, stay tuned, because um, 
The targets of this goal, uh, as I said, focuses, of course, both on the cooperation part, the financial part, uh, and the measurement part. And uh, the first target is to mobilize resources to improvement of uh, domestic revenue collection. And, and target 17.2 is to um, implement all development assistance commitments. That was what I mentioned, that that the uh, that the developed countries have to uh, implement the, and uh, their promise of, of giving 0 0.7 uh, percentage of their gross national income uh, as uh, development aid. And then the uh, target 17.3 is to mobilize financial resources for developing countries uh, from multiple sources, actually. Uh, so this is also one of the targets that's about uh, making financing uh, the implementation of uh, actually all of the of the global goals. Then target 17.4 is to assist developing countries in uh, attaining debt sustainability. And target 17.5 is to invest in the least developed countries. Um, so these, these two is also uh, a target focusing on the financial part of the of global goal number 17. Then target 17.6. It's about knowledge sharing, cooperation for access to science, technology, and uh, innovation. It's about enchanting the North, North, the South, South, and the Triangular Regional and International Cooperation on access to science, to technology, to innovation, uh, and enchanting knowledge sharing on uh, mutually agreed terms um, through uh, through uh, an improved coordination among existing mechanisms, but also uh, through the United Nations. Uh, levels. So, so this target is focusing on on the science based and science uh, knowledge sharing that is needed in order for us to reach all the sustainable development goals. Then, uh, target seventeen uh, seven is about promoting sustainable technologies to developing countries. That's also one of the goals, as I mentioned, or so targets focusing on on technology and developing te um, sustainable uh, technologies. And target number seventeen um, eight. It's about strengthening the science, technology, innovation capacity for least developed countries. So also one of the targets, focusing, as I said, on uh, on science, technology, innovation. Uh, these are key, and uh, investments in in sustainable science, technology, and innovation is uh, is key uh, in order for us to reach the sustainable development goals. Then target seventeen uh, nine is about uh, enhanced SDG capacity in uh, developing. Uh, Countries in target 17, 10 is to promote a universal uh, trading system under the VTO. So, so this one is um, to promote a universal, rule-based, open, non-discriminatory, and equitable multilateral trading system under the World Trade Organization, including through the conclusion of negotiation under its Doha development agenda. So this is about uh, what you said, part of this goal, focusing on on trade and on, on equal access to the market for, for all countries. And then target 17, L, L, sorry, target 17 11 is, is closely interlinked to this uh, because it's about increasing the exports to developing countries. That was also one of the things that was discussed earlier. Uh, and the same with target 17 12, actually, which is about removing the trade barriers for least developed countries. Uh, and uh, Going on, and then, as I said, there's a lot of targets, and, and because I mentioned the targets for all of the other sessions, uh, I guess I have to do it as well. Uh, but some of them will go go a little quick over. Um, because then, target 1713 is about enchanting the global macroeconomic stability, and um, and this is also linked to the whole trade part. Then uh, target 174 is to enchant policy coherence for sustainable development. So this is about Policy and a policy focusing on sustainable development. And Tag 1715 is to respect national leaderships to implement policies for sustainable development goals. So respecting each country's policy space and leadership to establish and implement policies for poverty eradication and sustainable development. So this is also about respecting that that all countries are implementing sustainable development goals uh, differently. Um, but of course also enchanting that, that these goals need to be implemented. Uh, then target 1716 is interlinked to the partnership part of uh, this one partnership uh, for the goals. And it's about enhancing the global partnership 
for uh, sustainable development and the same with target 1717 that's about current efficient partnerships uh, and these two targets focusing on on the very key importance of building strong partnerships uh, and building strong partnerships in order to to implement this agenda then target 1718 uh, is about um, enchanting the availability of, uh, of reliable uh, data and target 1719, which is the last one, is about further developed measurements of progress. So these two is about measuring, it's about putting a focus on the fact that it's really important for us to collect more data and better data in order for us to measure how the implementation of the global goals is going. Because if we need, if, if we have to, have to find out if we're moving forward or not, we also have to make sure uh, how measured and we have to have a baseline on how this is measured. Then um, normally I always highlight some progress from around the world and I highlight a team and I will not do that this today because uh, I want to spend uh, the time on another point and another fact stressing the fact that, that this goal 17 is about all of us doing something. And, and what we see and what the global goals have uh, meant is there's, there's a lot of cross-sectional strong partnerships out there that are working very hard to implement the global goals in all different levels. And it's small scale partnerships and big scale partnerships, but most importantly, it's partnership. And I think this goal is, is, is the, one of the key things in the whole sustainable development goals agenda. It's the fact that we need to cooperate together. And I also want to, to take the time to to really, um, what you can say, uh, talk in favor and 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 um, yeah, push forwards the one that's working in partnership because that's what it's all about. Often we one plus one uh, equals three. That's what partnership is all about. That's what we need if we need to reach sustainable development goals before 2030. So partnerships is needed, and we need to celebrate all of those already working in partnerships. And I want to encourage all of you. Uh, watching this to to reach out work in partnership because it's only making you better and the same with the with the team of today there will be no team of today uh, instead there will be a, a big big thank you to to all the teams the partners the local and the global partners of the global gold world cup that has uh, has meant that that a lot a lot of people all around the world actually have acted on the goals and that they know about the goals. And all of you playing out there, and most importantly, all of you playing out there and also acting upon the goals, you're on the right track, continuing uh, your great work, because that's what we need uh, to do if we have to reach the goals. And that's also why I only brought two commitments of today. It's uh, that you should uh, work together, and I really hope that you go down, go out and do that, work together in partnership and cooperation. Remember that it's key, most often one plus one equals three, and we need to strong partnerships in order to, uh, to reach the goals. That was all for today's session. It was actually all for, for all of my sessions here in the clubhouse in the world's biggest to-do list. I hope you learned something about the global goals. Uh, and most importantly, I hope that this has inspired you to go out and act on the global goals, because that's what we need now. We have 10 years to reach the goals. And thus, we have 10 years to make sure that we are, that the world is moving on the right track. And in these 10 years, it's about stopping to talk about the global goals and actually start acting. So go out there, act for the global goals, because that's what the world needs. Bye.